Hey guys, and I'm down in the bow thruster space, and right behind me you can see the motor for it. And you can judge by the size of this pedestal, this thing is absolutely massive. It's a 3,500 horsepower electric motor. Uh, to put that in context, your diesel generators are probably about 2,500 horsepower piece. I have different sizes, so I don't want to give an exact number because I have two different size generators. But what that means is I need three of my main generators on out of four just to be able to start this uh, motor up. And then to run it, I need the three plus my uh, whatever my house loads is. But this thing is incredibly powerful. It's massive. This is like the dolly. This is a uh, this one in particular is 299 meters long with a total displacement of 122,000 tons. It doesn't actually weigh that much. That's like the theoretically fully loaded numbers. Um, Sal will explain that to you that if uh, Sal sent you over here. But 299 meter long container ship, uh, 3,500 horsepower. It's kind of neat, you can kind of see the shaft spinning. We're at sea, we're doing about 18 knots, and this is just water passing through the hull is just a uh, pinwheel in this. That's why we always have to have oil on. What else do we have down here? I've got my emergency fire pump. Um, separate power source, it's in a separate space. If there was a fire in the main engine room, it's got emergency power from the emergency generator, which is in a different space and it powers this pump separate C suction. It's all independent. Now, what else do I have down here? Is I have my phone in case I need to call somebody. And that would probably be if I had to do an emergency fire pump thing uh, or just talk to somebody. And right behind me, I've got hydraulic head tanks. I've got hydraulic pumps. I've got motor controllers. That's what these things look out like. Let's just look at the size of this. Um, this I want to point out too here, these red cables. These red cables are 6,600 volts. 6,600 volts is, uh, I don't want to say not normal for ships, it's, it's around. We um, usually run 450 is the nominal. You will see them up to 33,000, but 6,600 is, uh, it's a lot. It's, it's unusually high, and the reason they do that higher voltage, lower amperage, you can run a thinner cable. And when you're running 200, 250 meters of cable, 300 meters of cable with the verticals, copper gets very expensive, and they'll up it to reduce the size of the cable. Um, that's all I really got down here. Otherwise, I'll show you. I'm, I'm at the mid-level here. The ship probably goes down another 20 feet until you actually get to the keel. And that's just spaces to go down. So this thing just keeps going down. I, it took me a while to climb down here. It's gonna take me a while to climb up. If you see lights out in the video, you're gonna comment on that. I forgot to hit the light switch at the top. So this is just my emergency lighting, which is another topic, emergency lighting. I have it, I've got normal lighting. I can see pretty adequately with just the emergency. Uh, comment, uh, you guys are growing on my channel and uh, you like to hear back from me and I respond, so let me know what you think.